You really believe this story? Osama bin Laden? Yeah. What part convinced you? Her confidence. What would you say was kind of the most beneficial thing you did when you were researching for the role? I think the work I'd done maybe on Chicago Code as a policeman and in, mm -hmm. in, in working with Chicago homicide detectives, I'd watched a lot of homicide in, in investigations and interrogations. Mm -hmm. And so I had an under, you know, I had some kind of understanding of what in, a good interrogator means, you know, aside from, you know, all the enhanced interrogation techniques, but just in terms of getting somebody to open up and keeping a conversation going and, and, and using those techniques of when you look in a, you know, because you're always going to see the truth in somebody's eyes about, mm -hmm. about how you set up that moment to maybe set them off guard or whatever and then you bang, watch, you know, so they don't know, you know, it's, it's, it's that ability to, to get somebody to talk. That really helped. And also the fact that I travelled a lot. I know, uh -huh. you know, calmed maybe Catherine and Mark's mind and the fact that I'll be able to shoot in Jordan, you know, in India, that I'd, that I'd have been a guy out there similar to Dan who's lived in some strange places. Mm -hmm. I read that you went through a waterboarding kind of experience. Is that true? Give it a go. <laughs> yeah? What, do you, what goes through your mind when you're doing that? Uh, it's, well, look, it's very different to the real thing because uh, it doesn't, you know, it's, there's a stop point. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, it was very similar to surfing and getting dumped by a big wave. You know, okay. it's very scary. There's a lot of water coming in, you know, and it feel, you know, it's just filling you up. And there's some tough scenes when it comes yeah. to the interrogation. Yeah. How do you think the international response will be to this movie? I think the international response is, is, is going to be, you know, fantastic. You know, I think they're going to be very relieved that, you know, Catherine and Mark have shown, you know, 360 degrees. Yes, there's moments that you can pick in a, in a two and a half hour film of 10 years of this journey, but it's, 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 it's followed the linear story. There's no corners cut or sugar coating or hyperbole because it is not required. Right. You know, and here it is. Watch the whole lot, go through this experience, and um, you're still left with something very extraordinary and something which is very personal. You know, the, telling it from the people's point of view that did it, that we don't know, that we weren't there, and giving that insight in the way that film and sound and music all together in a dark room can give you is is something, you know, which is which is very rare. Mm -hmm.